Obor, the hill giant boss, is one of the only two free-to-play bosses and can be located behind the locked gate within the Edgeville dungeon. To unlock this gate and fight Obor each time, you will need a giant key. This can be obtained from any hill giant in the game at a drop rate of 1 128. If you kill hill giants in the wilderness though, this drop rate is brought down to 1 in 64, so there's a risk with a reward. An easy place to kill them is directly outside the entrance of Obor's lair and are easily safe spottable here with either ranged or maged, by just hiding in these little crevices and safe spotting them. To access this area, go west of the GE and Cook Guild and unlock the shed with a brass key, or go all the way around from the entrance in Edgeville. Every time you fight Obor, you're going to use another giant key, so you're unable to use the same one over and over. I've obtained a giant key from safe spotting hill giants, and we can now consider fighting Obor. We're going to want around 50 base combat skills, but it will definitely change depending on the method we're going to use to kill him. Magic is the most effective way to kill Obor, and 50 magic is definitely recommended as you unlock the spell Snare, which is a big help with killing him. You're also going to need 40 prayer in order to use protect from missiles, and then 50 defense and HP to play it safe. Melee is the second best way to kill him, and magic is less important when you use melee, so you're going to want base 50s in your melee skills, along with 40 prayer still. Range is the worst way to kill him, especially with free to play gear, so I would just avoid that. This is a free to play oriented video, and the kills will be shown with free to play gear. If you're a member, almost anything better than what you see here will take him down pretty easily. For our magic setup, any staff will do to cast your highest offensive spell. I'm going to bring a staff of water, and we'll be casting Water Blast as our spell. The rest of the gear shown is near best in slot for free to play, and shouldn't really be changed out unless you need to for whatever reason. In our inventory is our runes to cast Water Blast and Snare, as well as an energy potion just in case. Besides that, we're just loading up on food, and your best options are anchovy pizzas, which can be spendy in free to play, or just swordfish, which work great as well. I ended up just taking a mix of both of them. If you're going to melee Obor instead of magic, the inventory remains mostly the same, except for bringing more food instead of runes, and a strength potion as well. The best in slot melee gear for free to play is shown here, and again, try to replicate it exactly for the best results. We have the key, the correct stats, and our gear set up, so there's nothing left else to do except for actually fighting him. Once you're ready, click on the gate and confirm you want to enter. Upon entering, we're in this upper level, and we can begin the fight whenever we want by climbing down the rocks. Make sure you turn on protect from missiles before you go down, and then begin the fight. Immediately try to hit him with your snare spell, and if it fails, or you get hit a few times, don't panic, just land that snare and then run away. Every time you snare him, you want to run away and then use Water Blast or whatever spell you have available. This is essentially the entire fight. You want to keep Protect from range up as long as you can and ensure you snare him and back out of melee distance. Utilizing this method is extremely easy and I barely used any food for my kill. You don't really have to worry about anything else other than making sure that he's snared. Sometimes Obor will randomly just stop moving, and that's not because he's snared, he literally just stops moving sometimes and then will start walking to you again, so you might get confused and think you did land a snare, so just watch out for that. Now my prayer did run out at the end of this fight, and that can get dicey as his ranged attacks off prayer can hit pretty big, but just eat up, don't panic, and keep doing damage until he dies. And that's all it took to get my first Obor kill on this account. Didn't really get a good drop since it's just 67 death runes, but it was a pretty straightforward fight. If I'd been better and paying more attention with the snares, I would have used even less food, but we still have plenty to spare in case the fight went even more wrong. Now I'm going to quickly show a melee strategy for Obor before we get into the drops he has. We have the melee setup shown in the before section and are going to pray range and go down the rocks again. This time, we're essentially just brute forcing the kill and won't be snaring at all. Even though he does melee, you just want to keep protect from ranged on, and he does have an attack where he knocks you back, but just click on him again to make sure you're still attacking him and you'll be fine. You'll use a considerable more amount of food here with the melee strategy since you're tanking all of his melee hits, but a full inventory with the stats I recommended should be more than enough. Any level above the stats I recommended will make this even easier. I did run out of prayer pretty early in this fight, he had 40% HP left, and this is bad because his ranged attacks can now hit like a truck, but I'm going to make sure to just click him, make sure I'm still on him, and eat when I get low. And that's the melee Obor kill down as well, we actually got a giant key as a drop so I can run another one if I wanted. Obor is one of, if not the, easiest boss in the entire game, so I'm confident all of you will be able to kill him with ease. I quickly wanted to go over his drops, the average Obor kill is only 27k as he drops some rune alkabols and other drops, but Obor has one unique, which is the hill giant's club. This is a 1 in 118 drop chance and is a solid 1.3 mil, which is a good stimulus for free to play players. Lastly, here are the combat achievements 
documents for anyone interested. I'm not going to go over them specifically as they're all straightforward, but I figured I'd just show them for anyone interested. And that's going to be the whole guide. I wanted to keep it very to the point and straightforward since it's so easy, and I'm trying to mainly help out the free-to-play folks with this one, as again, members can just use a whip or blowpipe or really anything to take him down with ease. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and guides. Check out my Discord in the description below, and see ya!